Yerkes and Dodson. They created this law through their research that shows that performance and arousal have this sweet spot that you have to have a certain a bit of excitement in order to perform well. Hey, Dr. Dan here, and I guide students to be smart about higher education and live a life that matters. In the video today for, and our wisdom for the week, I'm going to do a, um, a, a video titled Visionary Thinking, Deciding to Thrive, Survive, or Nosedive. So starting off a little different than I normally do, I want to read you a little poem and see it to, to kind of set the tone. So uh, this is a story about three views of vision. Which one to choose is your decision. The first one is nosediving, and that isn't good. But wouldn't people turn that around if they could? Includes lots of mourning, weeping, and sadness. No easy solutions to get out of this madness. The second one is surviving, just keeping afloat. Who cares how many leaks are in this boat? Predictable irrationality is to be expected, but excuses for mediocrity are to be rejected. The third is thriving with a life of meaning. This is not, not all eating, drinking, and laughing. But with authentic vision, quite the contrary. Meaningful, meaningful living can make one weary. The thriving vision is living a life that matters. Taking action to help others, not just idle chat. Do or do not, there is no try, says Yoda with the force. Nose dive, survive, or thrive in your vision. Decide your course. Every day we begin with a, a certain kind of mindset with the vision that's going to start our day. It could be, do I have to get out of bed? Do I have to go to work? Do I have to go to school? Uh, that would be kind of a nosedive start of the day. The surviving start might be, I got up on the wrong side of the bed, so it's just going to be a bad day. But the thriving one would be, it's a new day. It's a brand new day. I get to go to work. I get to go to school. I get to get up and exercise. And that's a whole start for your day, starts the mindset. Which one of those rules your day? And if you look, a lot of it has to do with how it starts. So they're seemingly harmless expressions, but they were kind of mindset that if you acknowledge it, it's one thing. And if you ignore it, it's even worse because you don't even realize how this mindset is affecting you. So um, if you're in kind of a nose diving thing, some of the thoughts that might come up is, uh, I'm never good enough. Who am I to think that I could ever um, lose the weight get a date with this other person, do well in academics, earn a, a good salary. You start thinking like that and you have negative self-talk. You dummy, you idiot, how could you be so stupid? That's the kind of nosediving vision that you could have for your day. And each day it kind of builds up and accumulates. A next one would be, uh, well, it, and let's get back to that nosediving. It could be using kind of like flying with vertigo. If you know what vertigo is, you don't know which way's up, which way's down, right, left. So you're kind of flying and you have no idea and the plane's out of control. And what, what happens, the best that could happen with that is you run out of fuel and you land by some chance safely. Uh, but the odds of that happening are slim to none. So what usually happens is you will crash. And so the nose diving, constant nose diving visionary, you crash figuratively, you could crash literally. So you don't want to be stuck in that mentality. So surviving might be uh, the songs where it's don't worry, be happy. Uh, or people might say, go with the flow. Don't ruffle, don't make waves, don't ruffle the feathers. Just go with the flow. Um, you can't have your cake and eat it too. Don't even think that. Money doesn't grow on trees, da 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 da. And they're just going to tell you and remind you how you cannot get ahead and how you cannot excel. Uh, that would be a survival mentality. The problem with this is uh, sometimes it's appropriate to just survive because we can't be in this total 100% thriving all the time, but it's okay to survive. But what, what kind of mentality we're in when we're surviving? The problem we don't want to embrace, or the thing we don't want to embrace is mediocrity. So a good aspect of surviving would be taking off time for recovery. But Again, there's a good way to recover of thinking I need to recover, and there's a, a bad mindset for that. So the bad way would be 
If I'm thinking I'm getting recovery to just take it easy and finally relax and be in this comfort zone and just stretch that out as long as I can, that's not a good recovery. There's a lot of people that are retired that think that's all they had to do was just retire and life would be wonderful. Um, it doesn't work that way. They're not happy. They're not, they don't have a purpose. They don't have meaningfulness in their lives and just end up sitting around watching TV and feeling useless and there's so much wasted talent when that happens. Uh, a good way to recover would be that I need to recover to rejuvenate, to get energized, to go back and thrive and do what I've been called to do and destined to do in this life. And so that's really a good recovery. That's part of thriving. You need to rest your muscles after you've worked them really hard. You need to recover. Part of good endurance building and good weightlifting muscle building is a proper recovery. So that kind of recovery is good. So that's not necessarily surviving. It's part of thriving. That's a good recovery. So <clears throat> there's a couple of guys out there, they, they, Yerkes and Dodson, they created this law through their research that shows that performance and arousal have this sweet spot that you have to have a certain a bit of excitement in order to perform well. In other words, you can't be bored. You won't perform at your peak. We all do this when, we, when we're bored. We don't get things done. The, the less you, you uh, have to do, the, the more seemingly longer it takes you to do it. But when you're at that right sweet spot and you've got this right amount of challenge, you, you've got the skill set to handle this, you are in this Dirk's uh, Dodson, Yerk, Yerk's Dodson law that enables you to perform well. If, if you get too overwhelmed, it doesn't work either. So if there's too much energy, too much excitement, that can backfire on you too. So thriving is being in that sweet spot. So, uh, for example, a basketball game would, if you were in the nosedive mode and it's down to the last shot, you, this is the winning shot, you're one point behind, and so the nosediver visionary would be on the bench, not even wanting to get in the game. Uh, they don't want anything to do with this because something might go wrong, I can't do it, I don't know what, what would happen, da 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 da. Uh, the survivor might be on the court, but they don't want anything to do with the ball either. They haven't practiced well enough to be prepared to do what they need to do to make this final shot to, uh, to do the things that need to be done to, to win the game. The thriver says, give me the ball. As a matter of fact, they're mad if the play isn't designed to go to them to get the ball. That's what we are when we're in this thriving mode. And so can we be in this superhero thriving mode all the time? No. Um, do we always want to strive to be getting there and moving back to there? Yes, every once in a while we're going to take a nosedive. That's, that's life. That's what happens. Uh, every once in a while we're just going to be surviving. The difference is we're surviving to get back into the thriving mode. We're not surviving to just take it easy and give up. So those are different things. So uh, thriving mode takes hard work, it takes focus, and it also um, takes even suffering at times. So. That's what thriving is required of thriving. So you gotta determine where you wanna live. Do you wanna be nose diving, surviving, or thriving? So this is Dr. Dan. Um, if, you, if you like this video, uh, please share it, make some comments, um, email it to your friends, uh, pass it around. Uh, just, it could help, if you think it could help others. And uh, if you haven't signed up for my uh, to get these videos on a weekly basis, look on my website, you'll be able to, to find that. And so, um, this is Dr. Dan, uh, and I encourage you to know where you're going with your life, become the person you were destined to be, and make a difference in the world. If we have selective attention, and we've got a mission, a path of purpose in our lives, that we can master and focus that attention in the right direction, then that's a good thing.